Greetings and welcome to a new video series. In this video series we will discuss the DC machines and this will be our example number one where we discuss the DC shunt motor. So let's look at that example. We have a DC shunt motor and it develops a power of 4 kilowatts and it also has a back EMF of 300 volts. In addition we know that the motor constant is 1.1 Weber so that is the information we have given. So what is the required calculations? So these calculations we need to do. We have the armature current, I sub A. The second one is the speed of the motor, omega sub M, and also the developed torque, T sub D. So how do we start? Let's look at our solutions. Before we move on, it's always handy in these kind of situations, in these kind of problems to make a model of the system. So DC shunt motor will have this model. This is the armature part of this DC motor. You can see the armature resistance, armature inductance and also the back EMF part of the system. And we have also the field part, which is the field resistance and also field inductance. Of course, we won't use all of this in this exercise, but it's helpful to see that also here. What we have is here, of course, the rotating part of our motor, DC motor. That's the omega sub m, which is, of course, required. And this is the T out, which is, in this case, also equal to the developed torque. This is the supply voltage we need to apply to this system. And this is then the current which will be flowing by this voltage source. Okay, let's look at our given information in great detail. Given information here is developed power which is then p sub d is 4000 watts we have also the back emf which is the developed voltage actually here is 300 volts and we have the motor constant which is just a constant is 1.1 waivers so let's first start with the armature current so for that we can use the formula for developed power developed power for this dc shunt motor is equal to the armature current which is flown here times the back emf voltage now since i know that i want the armature current i can rewrite this in this form such that i have pd over the emf back emf so i can just substitute the values i will get 13.3 amperes and this will be our armature current that's for uh, question a now going to question b we need to of course calculate now the motor speed that is related to the back emf using this formula so you need again your motor constant you multiply it by the speed of your motor that will give you the back emf voltage now rewriting this you will get your speed of your motor so 300 over 1.1 that will be then 273 radians per second of course you, you can convert this to rotation per minute but that is now in omegas and this will be then our motor speed the final one is the developed torque. So developed torque is given by this formula. Again, the motor constant. And we have now the armature current. Now we know the motor constant and the armature current we already have calculated in question A. So if you use these two values, you will get 14.7 Newton meters. But you can also do that in a different form. The torque itself is also related to the developed power. So the developed torque is equal to developed power over the motor speed. So the developed power over motor speed. If now to use the calc uh, given values and also what we have just calculated in question B, you will have again 14.7. So it doesn't matter which formula you are using. Of course, it depends what information is given. So in this case, both are possible so these are then the developed torque for this exercise now this concludes this exercise number one It's a very straightforward uh, uh, forward exercise no really hard uh, business going on i will do in example number two and further examples a little bit more complicated example but i would like to start with a simple and then build up the level in the next examples Again, if you have any questions, comments, please let me know. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks again and see you next time.